I am the mask maker and director and producer of A Thousand Faces Mask Theater. It was just me in my home 20 years ago, and I decided to make some masks for the spring, celebrate that spring had returned. I just made three masks, and it was the start of it all. Um, a lot of my plays started out as just a celebration of the seasons because I'm very aware of them because I garden in them all the time. So in the beginning, I was so glad. Everyone's glad it's spring, but as a gardener, it's my work. I'm particularly glad it's spring. It would be a celebration. So a lot of times we celebrated Easter and May Day were our two first ones we did for years. My main influence is a wonderful man who calls his group Bread and Puppet. And by puppet, he just means any entity that is manipulated by a human person. They have to be animated. There has to be somebody in them. And to watch my friends who are so talented and so powerful and so beautiful, to have them wear this and dance around and move and be totally immersed in the mask is just a complete joy to watch. There's an ancient tradition of using masks from the original cultures. They personify energy. They kind of take away personal ego instead of being Peggy Shadler. I put this on and I'm like an earth goddess. There's a complete transformation that's just magical. <laughs> Ta -da.